What's up? Oh my goodness, I am so excited. So I did play this game for about 30 minutes, but then I was like, this game is awesome. And I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I did want this game, but I didn't want to pay full price, but it went on sale. And I'm in love already because how could you not like the music? It makes me want to swing dance. It reminds me of the mask. Remember the mask? I don't know, maybe you don't remember. <laughs> With Jim Carrey? <laughs> she would have Yeah, I had too much coffee. Anyway, like I said, I did play a little bit, but I'm gonna start a new game. My first boss was Al Capone. Alfonso Capone. I'll show you. Let me, let me start with Capone so you can see who I already tried. You and me. Hey then. Good. Hey, Where is he? Oh, here he is. How you doing? Al Capone, Alfonso. I thought uh, the reason why I picked him is because, to be honest, he looked the most gangster, you know. But I think I'm gonna go with somebody else. Good decision. They have different bonuses, so. Let me stop spamming and go through them. So Stefani Sinclair, she's a card shark and her boss ability is firing squad. So they each get boss abilities, unique ones. Um, so don't get your hands dirty, make your allies do it. At your command, any friendly or allied characters that are within range of you will open fire at your selected target. So that's kind of cool. She can, um, Within a certain range, I guess, use other other allies to probably get a better hit. Um, she gets minus 20% upgrade cost to brewery storage. So she's good at um, making brewskis. And also she has reduced security costs for casinos. So I'm sure that will come into handy. Um, her diplomatic bonus is called neighborhood threat generation. When opening a casino, I guess she's less likely to get threat or enemies. Cause you know, people, people be hating. Um, and then we have so now, <laughs> back to Alphonse. Hey, uh, I don't know if you know this, but, uh, I think Al Capone had syphilis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So his boss ability, I mean the real Al Capone. He uh can so it's called Rain of Fire. He can fire a stream of bullets over the highlighted area. Anyone caught in the area or attack is suppressed and will take damage when they move. I actually tried this one. It's it's pretty awesome. So it has a wide range and it kind of um will automatically shoot anyone that comes within that range, even if it's outside of your turn. It's kind of a preemptive type of move, but it's, I found it to be strong. Um, so he also has reduced costs for brewery production and his brothel ambience cost is minus 20%. So I guess he, he has really nice brothels. <laughs> Um, his diplomatic bonus, passive faction rating gain when in defensive pact, plus one. I don't completely know what that is, but it sounds like that is um, when you have a defensive pact with somebody, it passively goes up. Mm -hmm. I'm Frankie Donovan. Who the Frankie fuck Donovan. Are you? He's the Irishman. And you can tell because he gets a lot in a lot of fist fights. Look at his face. Um, so his boss ability is Unleash Fury. And what Unleash Fury does is un unleash a flurry of devastating melee strikes. Oh, so he's a melee guy against your enemy. Every kill renews your fury and restores your AP. Oh, so it restores your AP per kill? That could be, that could potentially be pretty strong, but causes you to become exhausted. Oh, okay. I don't know what exhausted does, but it sounds like it's strong, but limited. Um, he can produce plus 5% brew skis. He can make more brew and the speakeasy. So a speakeasy 
is pretty much a bar. Speakeasy word of mouth cost is minus 20%. <clears throat> That's how they market in the 1930s, 40s, 20s? No, 30s? I don't know. I don't know when this is. 19, we'll say 1920s to 30s or 40s. I'm not really sure. Um, his diplomatic bonus, bygones be bygones, negative effects with other factions from previous wars, minus 50%. So I guess when he fights with other factions, they forget about it quicker or there's less repercussions, maybe? That's what it sounds like. She what about? Hey, how you doing? Angelo, Ang Angelo Gina. He's from the Gina crime family. I don't know. Was that Italian? So his boss ability is fan of knives. Fillet your foes with a barrage of throwing knives. Select multiple. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. But we're about to ignore it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm I'm recording. So select multiple multiple targets or a single target multiple times. Oh, okay. So you can either use it as an AOE or you could do multiple attacks on one target, which sounds pretty strong. Maybe I'll select him. Once selected, release a flurry of knives at your targets. So he can have one additional guard at his brewery and his speakeasy upgrades cost minus 5%. So that's just overall a, a cheaper speakeasy um you know, reduced cost. <laughs> uh, diplomatic bonus is at your service. Faction rating when honoring packs plus 100. Okay, so he gets a bonus for loyalty is what I'm understanding from that. Honor gain when honoring packs plus 50%. Ooh, so he's a loyal guy. Okay, I'm I'm probably going to pick Angelo. Angelino, a.k.a. Lolo, Jenna. Goldie Garno, the one and only. Okay, so we got a... I'm, I'm assuming she's French. Goldie Gano. Um, she's Her boss ability is Killer Queen. Bring your enemies to their knees. Place your mark on your enemies. Once marked, fire a shot at each target. Uh, each shot has improved crit chance and ignores defense. Ooh, so she has... She's kind of like a, a sniper or a hunter. Um, that sounds pretty strong. She's a sharpshooter. Uh, speakeasy earnings, she makes more money from her bars. Uh, casino upgrade costs overall are cheaper uh, by 5%. And um, her diplomatic bonus is called Room to Grow. Her threat regeneration is shared. I'm sorry, in shared neighborhoods is minus 50%. So she can, um, I guess, share territories peacefully without generating a lot of threat. Good choice. Then we got Sai Wing Mok. He's the Hip Sing Tong. He's from the Hip Sing Tong gang. Um, his boss ability is Death Blossoms. I like the name of that. Introduce your enemies to the deadliest bloom. Select multiple locations and throw a bomb at each one. Each bomb explodes into a cloud of smoke, poisoning all nearby characters. So he is the Poison Master. And um, he gets an extra guard in his brothels. Got to keep them them hoes secure. And his casino games cost minus 20%. Um, I know what casino games are, but I don't, I guess that's, an, that's a specific upgrade. You upgrade the game section. So I'm assuming that that's cheaper for him. Um, and his diplomatic bonus is enemy of my enemy. Oh, enemy, my enemy. Uh, enemy trades and truces do not reduce faction rating with factions in business arrangements. So he could separate. He could separate business from personal. <laughs> I don't know. That's that's what I'm gathering. Maggie Dyer. Maggie Dyer. The White City Circus. Um, so Maggie Dyer, her boss ability is Lion Tamer. Target an enemy character with your whip, drawing them to a nearby tile. Deliver a devastating punch once the target is in range, dealing damage and knocking them down. So it sounds like she has a pretty good... So she has a whip, first of all. 
<laughs> so she is the madame, okay? And <laughs> not the ma not the madam, the madame. <laughs> I am so hyper right now. Um and she pulls them in towards her cuz I guess she's a melee her strength is melee. She says she's a melee character and she delivers a devastating punch. Once she pulls them towards her, dealing damage and knocking them down. So she got, she got, she got pull-ins. She got melee punches and she has CC plus damage. Sounds kind of strong. Um, so her brothel security is minus 20%. Told you she's a madame. And speakeasy raid chance minus 25%. So less likely to have a speakeasy uh, rated. <clears throat> Her diplomatic bonus is the heartbreak kid. So this is faction rating loss when breaking treaties and business arrangements minus 50%. So she could be disloyal and have less repercussions for it. Madam. Let's do some business together. Dion Obanian. Obanian. <laughs> I like I like Dion o banana. Um banana. Dion o banana? Okay, so he's from the North Side mob. And his boss ability is blasphemy. Oh, that's funny. Get it? Blasphemy. So he blasts the opposition. Shoot your target with an explosive shotgun slug, knocking them back and destroying their armor. Hmm. He be working with them shotties. So he gets minus 15% for bre brewery upkeep and speakeasy ambience cost is, mi is minus 20. Mm. Diplomatic bonus turncoat. So his truce duration is minus 50%. Um, and business arrangement difficulty is plus 20%. So let me try to understand that. So... I guess, does that mean truce duration lasts longer or shorter? So if you have, yeah, math is hard for me, dude. So I'm guessing that since it's minus 50%, it's shorter. And business arrangement difficulty is plus 20%, which means that it's more difficult. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe there's a pro to that. I don't really know yet. Um, Salazar Reina. Los Hios de la Llorona. So his boss ability is Santa Muerte. Deliver unto the Lady of Holy Death. Dual wield your revolvers and spin in a circle. Firing a shot into all enemies around you. Oh, okay. So he has good AOE, I'm guessing. And um, his empire bonus is he has reduced brothel ambience cost and casino draw plus 10%. Hmm. Is that like a, a dual draw? Like, like pulling out your guns draw? Or is that like drawing cards? Maybe he's good at games. Or maybe he's good at cheating this, the, the players. I'm not really sure. Diplomatic bonus. Headhunter. Threat generation when killing other bosses. Minus 50%. Ooh. He can get away with it. Daniel McKee Jackson. So Mr. Jackson, Jackson, he's from the Vice Kings. And his boss ability is Last Rites. Surgically unload a full clip of your pistol into the target. If the target dies before the clip is empty, another target is automatically chosen. Each enemy killed by last rites reduces its cooldown. Ooh. So if you kill with this move, it reduces your cooldown. And then you can use it again. That seems kind of strong, potentially. If you get them all low and don't take them all out, but then... I don't know. I'm guessing if you get them, like... <clears throat> who knows? I'm trying to work it out in my brain, but it's it's hard to visualize. But I'm... I'm thinking that maybe um, it'll be good to not, for at least for <clears throat> really long fights, not try to take out one target at a time, but try to get them low enough to where you know that you can um, maybe kill them with this move and then just keep using it over and over again. 
but then you have AP, so I'm not really sure how that will work. So, um, Empire bonus, brothel raid chance minus 25%, and casino earnings plus 20%. Ooh, he'd be making that cash money. And his diplomatic bonus is founding farther. Threat generation with large empire is minus 25%. So, he, um... <clears throat> Seems like when he, the larger his empire, the safer he is, or once you hit a certain point, maybe. <clears throat> Frank Reagan, at your service. So Frank Reagan is part of the Reagan cult, Reagan's cults. His boss ability is home run. Push the targeted enemy and deal a powerful melee blow, knocking the target down. If the target is killed, you gain the batter up. Effect... <clears throat> Oh, you gain the batter up effect and will strike out any enemy that gets too close. Oh. So. You can. So. You do a melee attack that knocks him down, and if they die, you can strike again to any nearby enemies. Brewery production rate plus 5%, speakeasy upkeep cost. Upkeep. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Speak easy upkeep cost is minus 15%. Um, diplomatic bonus, strength in numbers. Threat generation when a crew size is six or greater, minus 20%. So um, I guess he's good in numbers. He has six or more. He has reduced threat. Let's take this city. Mabel Riley, the alley cats. Uh... Her boss ability, Swindler's Shot. Take a trick shot. Make multiple targets and fire... Sorry. Mark multiple targets and fire one well-aimed shot that ricochets between them. Anyone caught in the bullet's path takes damage and has deep wounds effect applied. Okay. So, sounds like it hits multiple targets. So, AoE and <clears throat> deep wounds. I don't know what that is, but my guess is it's a bleed. And Empire bonus, casino security upgrade cost is reduced by 10%, and casino raid chance is reduced by 25%. So she's she's living that casino life. That's her strength. Um, diplomatic bonus. So to me, this was interesting because I have not seen anything, any other bosses have any trade abilities. Her bonus is called fair price, and she could... <clears throat> Her trade acceptance chance is plus 10%, so it sounds like she's better at negotiating. Which sounds appealing. Soy yo, Elvira Duarte. Elvira Duarte from Los Luceros. 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 Her boss ability is Devil's Breath. Blow a cloud of psychotropic smoke into your target's face. Booyah! The target will temporarily become your ally, but at a cost. So she has like a mind control. The effect will cause damage over time, eventually killing them. So she can mind control her enemies, but they get a dot on them. So it's limited, but it sounds, it sounds fun. I would really like to try this boss ability out. Maybe we'll try her. Let's see. So it's either between Angelo or Elvira. Um, so her bonus for her empire is brothel security is cheaper by 20%. And she has one extra guard in the casino. Um, diplomatic bonus. Peacemaker. Faction rating when making non-aggression non packs with other factions plus 100 I don't know what faction rating does. Um, maybe you get bonuses from, you know, it's like reputation, I guess. You get probably unlock certain things with them, with other factions. So Joseph Saltis or Saltis, uh, he's from the Saltis gang. Uh, his boss ability is Stampede, show him who's boss. Charge forward, dealing a large amount of damage and knocking back the first enemy in your path. Okay, he get it. He's a he's a tank. He charges and he knocks him back. An enemy caught in your path is damaged and not back. So he does a charge, a CC, and damage, or damage and then CC. And it looks like anyone in the path. So if you have them lined, if you have enemies kind of lined up. You know, um, in a linear fashion, he can get them all. 
Brothel earnings plus 5%. Speakeasies start with an extra level on their upgrades. Ooh, so he, he starts off with a better speakeasy, which is a bar. Um, diplomatic bonus. Jive joint. Neighborhood threat generation when opening a speakeasy is minus 50%. Mmm, he got one of them jive joints that the whole neighborhood wants to go to. Okay. <clears throat> and we're back to Stephanie. So, here's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I'm thinking, um... Elvira? Duarte Elvira? Or... How's it going, kid? What? Or... Go Easy choice. Angelo Jenna. <clears throat> hmm. So, do I want... Do I want to reduce speakeasy upgrades? Let's see what Elvira has again. Yo soy Elvira Duarte. I mainly am interested in her boss's ability. But you know what? I'm also kind of interested in this. Um, I like the start with the extra level of speakeasy. This is tough. Soy yo, Elvira Duarte. Hmm. Elvira Duarte. I guess, uh, I guess let's go with, um, <clears throat> let's go with Angelo. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? So I'm not really sure. Neighborhoods, 10. Oh, you can have 10 enemy factions, 13. Should we make it interesting? Boss, underboss, lieutenant. I guess let's let's do the default. 1010 10, Lieutenant. Here we go. Angelino. They call him Angelo. 